Almost every school district in eastern Idaho has the same problem, a substitute teacher shortage. COVID, the job market, and other factors have schools begging for fill-in teachers. I started substituting in 1989. And Karen Bass, who's been substituting for decades, hasn't seen anything like this before. This school year, from the first day of the school year, unless I have taken the day off, I have worked every single day. Mrs. Bass has taught every grade and every subject. She's even been a full-time teacher with her own classroom, but substituting is what she prefers. I don't have to bring papers home to grade. I can take time off when I need to, if I have to. And if I ever get a class that I really don't like, I don't have to go back. School districts would love to have more subs like Mrs. Bass. Boy, if we could add another 20, 30 would be magnificent. Some days there just aren't enough subs to cover teacher absences, so other staff members in schools will take over classes, principals will step in to cover, and other teachers will give up their prep hours to fill in. And it's been difficult and a challenge, but it's also been a very awesome thing to see people just, you know, rally together and, and make it so our kids can come to school. Every school in D91 has their own substitute teacher plan, and just this year the district increased substitute pay, introduced bonuses, and reimbursement options are now offered for training. We put a committee together to brainstorm some ideas, and so we've, um, we have a lot of different processes, I guess, in place to help cover the, the shortage. And people from all walks of life are beginning to sign up to sub, including me. The process was surprisingly simple. I went on the district's website, filled out an application, and was called in a few days later for an interview. The district did a background check. My fingerprints and photo were taken. Welcome to part two of the substitute teacher training. I watched some instructional videos and completed training online. Everything took about two hours total, and then my information was entered into a secure website that let me know which classes were available to teach on what days. There were a lot of options, and I could have easily picked up several assignments immediately, but I decided to go with a first grade class at Fox Hollow Elementary. The day before, I sat down with Mrs. Bass for some advice. Be there 15 minutes early so that you can look at the teacher's lesson plans have it lined up. When you introduce yourself to the kids, tell them who you are. Tell them you're going to leave a letter for the teacher and you really want them to get a good letter. So you're hoping that they will really be behaved and enjoy yourself. Okay, it's 7.15 in the morning. I'm preparing my lunch and about to head off to my first and probably only day of substitute teaching. All right, I just pulled up Fox Hollow Elementary School first grade class. I did not want to distract the kids with a camera in the classroom, but more importantly, I was here as a teacher, not a reporter. So I'll have to tell you about the day rather than show you. It began by taking attendance and asking which students were having hot or cold lunch. The kids were very helpful in getting that information to the office, and I was not afraid to ask for help. We said the pledge, worked on spelling and reading, and the other teachers, aides, and principal were right there if I needed anything. Okay, it is 10.45. The students have gone to lunch. Had a pretty good morning. Um, they've definitely kept me on my toes. I have a seven-year-old at home. I don't have 19 of them, though, <laughs> and so I have this morning, but they've been great. The other staff have been great. Uh, this morning, we did some uh, reading. We, it's Groundhog Day today, so we talked about Groundhog Day, uh, some coloring, some worksheets, and then they took a test. Someone, another staff member came in and administered a test. After lunch, the kids were very energetic, and we spent time working on a geometry packet, matching shapes and drawing squares, triangles, and circles. I was ready for a break, and as luck would have it, I was assigned to recess duty. Afternoon recess time. Um, kids came back from lunch, definitely had more energy. And we did a math packet with shapes. We read some stories. Now we're out at recess duty and um, it's kind of cold, but it's nice. They definitely are running out their energy. And the day's actually kind of gone by pretty quick. They asked if I'd be back tomorrow. 
I don't think I will, unfortunately. After helping a boy who fell on the ice, encouraging some kids to share the ball and a quick game of tag, it was back inside for a Groundhog Day activity. The kids finished quickly, so I got to tell them a few stories from my career, and then it was time to clean up, bundle up, and head home. It's 2.15. The kids have left for the day. We made these little groundhog craft things at the end of the day. Big thanks to the neighboring teacher who really helped out um, because I don't know how I could have done this, but um, I would totally do this again. It was a lot of fun. The kids were great. Uh, it was a good, good change of pace and really good to see what all of these teachers go through day in and day out. It is 2.30 and I'm leaving the school. Of course, the teachers that teach full time won't be leaving at least for another hour or two or three. Um, I had a good time. I learned a few things that uh, every child is different. Every child has different needs. Every child is special and unique. Uh, I knew that, but you know, being in front of a classroom with 20 kids every day, you got to make sure you, 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 you're able to you know, connect with each child. I think I'd do it again. And uh, maybe I'll try out the high school or something, maybe the middle school. Uh, but this was a great class, a great school, a great principal, had a good time. Substitute teacher positions are available in every school district in Eastern Idaho. And this year, especially, even one day of filling in can make a difference in the lives of the students. And as I learned, the sub. I've got a dream job. It's the job I like most of any job I've ever had. In Idaho Falls, I'm Nate Eaton, eastidahonews.com.